YouTubers. Look where I am. I'm at the Franciscan Shrine. And we're up here at the crucifixion scene. It's so moving. Look at Jesus here. As you can see, it's a 3D image of him. They have the crowds here and the two thieves on each side. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of this. That's St. Dismas. There's the Virgin Mary and St. John. There's Mary Magdalene. Many of you have written to me about Mary Magdalene. There's Jesus. It's all 3D. It looks so alive. There's the Roman soldier with the sponge. Really, really something. The altar in front here. And if you look here on the would be Jesus' left. These are people who are mocking him, those who could not see his power and divinity. See the scourging, the, the, the howling and the hostile faces. Here are the people who are thieves gambling for his clothing. There's the red robe in their hand. Now we have over on this side the penitents, those who were sorrowing at Christ's suffering. These are people who had great spiritual love and you can see the sorrow as they kneel before the powerful image of the Christ. Now see if I can see the Blessed Mother here. Here's Mother Mary, as you can see her. This is in full 3D. There's Mary Magdalene at the cross. There's Jesus. I feel like I'm at this mystical moment in time. There's St. Dismas. YouTubers, here's a beautiful statue of Jesus here. This is him after he was mocked and spat upon. They called him a king jestingly and mocked him and put him in a red robe or sometimes they say purple purple or red robe and the crown of thorns on his head here. You can see him sitting on this stone. It's one foot's been broken on the statue. But it looks so lifelike. You can see his hands here. And the ropes that bound him. And if you look here, you can really see Jesus' sorrow. Look into his eyes, how mystical. His compassion was profound. Who here could have such compassion? I feel like I'm sitting here at the feet of Christ. This is one of the most moving scenes here. For those of you who have seen the movie, The Passion of the Christ, you may remember the scourging at the pillar. Here we have a three-dimensional image of the pillar that Jesus was chained to. And here he is, his hands bound, and his body has been scourged. Look at the sorrow in this face. Jesus is being upheld by an angel. We think this could be the angel Gabriel. We're not sure, but it looks and feels like Gabriel. You can see here he is, stripped of his garments. His body is racked with wounds. His feet look lifelike. And the angel's compassion shines in his face. Avril and I are here, and we're overlooking the church. It's hard to get on the camera, the scale, but we're up about 30 feet in the air. And you can see here's the railing. We're looking down on the pews. There's the main altar and the giant dome. 
church is in the shape of a cross. It has four wings that go off. There's beautiful stained glass up here. And on the other side as well. Directly across is a replica of the tomb of Jesus. So now we're going to go to each wing of the cross and show you the chapels there. So come on along. Here we are outside the chapel of St. Anthony. Avril and I both love St. Anthony. So would you like to come in oh, here, Avril? Yeah, absolutely. I love St. Anthony. It's so beautiful. Everything is 2D or 3D. Absolutely. And there's our beautiful St. Anthony. Those of you who have watched, you know I did a St. Anthony video on St. Anthony spread. Here's some images of St. Anthony preaching, helping the poor. What a wonderful saint he is. He loved Jesus so much. Beautiful stained glass. The architecture here is spectacular. It's hard to capture it on film, but I think you guys need a little bit of the sense. And here's Avril. She's deep in prayer. She reflects on the mystical St. Anthony. That's okay. Here we are at the chapel of the Blessed Mother. Avril's praying to Mary. There you can see her. She's a beautiful, mystical mother of Jesus. Over here on each side, are, this is Mary being crowned Queen of Heaven by Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. Beautiful silver gilt work. Over here is Mary being presented in the temple by her parents. St. Anne and St. Joaquin. Angel above Mary up there. Beautiful stained glass windows. This is the Holy Spirit Chapel. See the Holy Spirit and glory rising with angels on each side. Here's the Franciscan brothers. There's Jesus preaching in the Holy Land. And above it, we have beautiful stained glass windows. And above that, a beautiful arch. Amazing, amazing architecture. And then here is the doorway to the grottoes underground that represent Bethlehem. Here we are at the St. Francis Chapel. I love St. Francis. He's the patron saint of ecology and of animals, of the founder of the Franciscan order, whose shrine this is that we're at today. If you have an animal that needs healing, you might want to pray to St. Francis. Admiral, you've invoked St. Francis for, for help with your animals, haven't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, it works every Sunday. He answers all my prayers for mm -hmm. my little ones. Isn't that wonderful? He's wonderful. I, mean, he is, I just love him so much. He's so incredible. He has never let me down once in my prayers. He's very gentle, very, very gentle, gentle soul. Very Absolutely. Nice. Very loving, very kind. This is the anointing stone where Jesus' body was laid and anointed before burial. Over here is the tomb, the replica of the tomb that you'll see in Israel. And there's the resurrected Christ, powerful and glorious. The sign says, he is not here, he is risen. 
So let's go see the empty tomb. It's an angel guarding it. There's another angel over there. There's a picture of Christ resurrected up there. Here's the entryway. Let's go in. Now, this is a very low roof, so we have to duck a little bit. It smells like spices, like a... Mm -hmm. What's the smell? It's a lemon citrus to me. Yeah. It smells a little bit like uh, myrrh also. Hanging lamps. And this is, as they explained to us in the tour, didn't they have a, This is the outer chamber. This is the outer chamber. Yeah, the anti, anti room. And then in here, now this is low, it's only about four feet high. We have to duck down. And as you can see, I'm coming through this. Now it's right behind me. <laughs> it's very much. <laughs> and this is an exact replica of where Jesus' body was laid. And for those of you who know about the Shroud of Turin, that his body laid in here with the shroud. And here's a tabernacle and a symbol of his resurrection in bronze. And they have beautiful lamps up here, candles. Very, very powerful. Is this not amazing, Avril? It is incredible. And they were, these, all these lanterns are oil lanterns, and that's what they used back at that time in mm -hmm. Israel. So they've even replicated the lanterns to be very, very authentic. authentic. Very authentic. Yeah. So there's no body here, just Jesus rose. And they have the lilies here to celebrate that. That's amazing. It's an amazing room. Now guys, as you can see, Avril's standing next to the door and the actual door in the tomb is this low in Israel. This is an exact replica of what you'd see. Right, it was a cave. Something was a cave. It was a cave, and it's all been walled in since to be like a room, but originally it was all cave here. Do you want to go through that door, Avril, so we can show them how low it is? See how low it is, guys? There we go. And we're going to go through it. It's interesting because I didn't know... Ah, this was good. also a cave, but in the ancient room, that's where people would come and talk um, and gather. Mm -hmm. And I never knew that that was part of his tomb. Isn't that interesting? I didn't either. Here are some more hanging oil lamps. Beautiful, just beautiful. Gorgeous. And guys, here's a piece of the actual stone from Jesus' original tomb that is over 2,000 years old. And it says on it, ex Jerusalem means out of Jerusalem. So this is a part of stone. Avril's touching it to receive a blessing. I'm going to touch it too. And for all my YouTubers, I would send this prayer of blessing for all of you here. She will explore this wonderful mystery. It looks like blood on the stone. It does. It does. See on the camera how it comes in? Oh boy, it really does. Maybe it's the blood of Christ. He may be seeing the actual blood of Christ on this stone. It's amazing. It's amazingly beautiful. Blessed be to all. Blessed be. And here we are. This is the St. Joseph Chapel. There's St. Joseph with the baby Jesus. This is done in beautiful shades of taupe and silver. It's hard to capture, but it's quite spectacular. Oh, gorgeous. And YouTubers, we're now in the Cloister Rosary Walk. This is like you see in the movies, where the monks meditate and walk down cloisters. And at each place they have scenes of the rosary done in mosaic, and this is the nativity. And they have the Hail Mary in different languages around the cloister walk. Hey, YouTubers. Now, here I am outside this amazing little chapel. It's a replica of St. Francis's first church. It's all made of stone. And you can see the beautiful gardens here, the beautiful tulips. 
and a beautiful dogwood, or is that dogwood or cherry? That's a dogwood tree. Dogwood tree, some azaleas, really spectacular. Let's look inside this chapel. Oh, it's got, it's got iron gates, but you can see inside here, it's beautiful. There's the altar up there, and that's the San Damiano crucifix, which is the cross that Jesus, or that, uh, well, Jesus appeared on the cross speaking to St. Francis. Very mystical. Here's the plaque, and this says, Replica of the Portin, Portuncula Chapel, St. Mary of the Angels, First Church of St. Francis. There it is. Just beautiful. You can hear the echo in here. The big doors. Really something. It's got a lovely arch and a bell tower. What do you think, Avril? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking, is, is this the bell we might have heard? One, it might have heard we it. Walking. We did hear a bell we ring. Would it have been here? Do you Could think? have been. Maybe right before it closed. Could have been. It's gorgeous. Huh? Of course, I love St. Francis, so the first church of St. Francis, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. <laughs> that's pretty neat. And there's tulips all over. Oh, all yeah. Around. The flowers are the amazing. The flowers are just gorgeous. There's a beautiful so rose, rose growing. Look at that. Wow. Look at the roses here. Beautiful. And the arbor. Got all there's an over. arbor here. And there's the outside of the church, the main church we were in earlier.